Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy here and I do tips and tricks to grow your business. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. Today we're talking about shared inboxes, email specifically, but this also both these softwares relate to WhatsApp messages, Facebook messages, Instagram messages, and all of that. And basically a shared inbox is something that gets consolidated into one platform where you and your whole team can reply to each of the messages as sort of like a collaborative reply. I think it's the way of the future. I can't stand how companies sometimes have like, I mean like Outlook and then you're replying and you're CCing and people and BCCing and then you don't reply to all, but you reply to some and it's just a nightmare for me. I, maybe I'm sure people can agree because these softwares are high in demand, but yeah, it, it's still, it just blows my mind, uh, traditional email. So anyway, I'm going to be talking about front app versus missive. Uh, I've been using Front for about two, three years, and I've been pretty happy with it. But recently, I've come across Missive, and there is a link down below if you want to check it out as well. And I've been even happier. So I know I've kind of spoiled the plot. I do have a preference in this video, but yeah, I just wanted to put that out <laughs> there initially, and so that you guys make the right decision. So anyway, let's uh, jump in. We're going to do a bit of comparisons on the pros and the cons of each. And at the end of the day, hopefully you'll be able to make an educated decision on which you want to take for your team. Let's kick in. Right, so jumping in where generally people tend to end off, I'm going to start with the pricing. And this was a huge no brainer for me. Um, as you can see, Missive has a pricing structure starting at free, uh, up to three. And you basically only get like the, the caveat is you only get to see 15 days worth of history. Thereafter, you can't search for it. You can't do anything. But you can have three people. If you've got a ticketing system or something like that where your support isn't really like a historical archive situation, just use this one. It's free. You have three people. I mean, on uh, front, for instance, those three users, we'll see what it's going to cost you in a second. But yeah, it, in my opinion, it's a no-brainer to have a free model. And then it goes up to as much as, I suppose, 26 if you're on the enterprise. And uh, personally, I'm fine with the $18 per month, which gives you unlimited search history and pretty much all these other cool things. The integrations, I suspect, is, is quite important for me and the rules and whatnot. So it's $18 away is, is my point. Whereas if we have a look at front, starting at $19, and I do believe, I'm not sure if this is the annual pricing. Um, I think this is if you pay annually. I know, I think it's $24 if you're paying by the month. Um, but then the next plan is 49 US dollars and look at all the things you don't get on the starter plan. You don't get analytics, you don't get rules. You get like some very basic rules, but like nothing complicated at all. And that like drove me mad. Like, I mean, Gmail, you can just, if you get an email from this, send it, uh, archive it or as soon as you can't do any of that stuff. Um, user team management, you don't get that, you don't get that. You don't, you, you get some integrations, uh, but like. You can see that there's a bunch of things that are excluded. Pretty much anything I use, like Integromat or Make or Zapier, like none of those were available. Um, and yeah, you get a lot of inboxes, which is quite nice. I had no problem with that. You get calendar and all a bunch of other things. But yeah, there's checks. There's loads of things that you don't actually get. All these SLA, all these like nice features that probably would have kept me on the platform had I known, like had it just been probably this this middle plan sort of for, for sort of the same price point so anyway that's the pricing jumping into integrations uh missive takes the lead on this one there are more integrations that are actually able to be used uh for the same price point um they they aren't as many overall integrations but i'm not going to pay 50 dollars a month to get access to some of these integrations so i use zapier i use zoom i use this video chat Still testing it out. Um, I probably will use the Shopify down the line and I use this make uh, quite a lot and Asana, I, I was also using that in Integromat. Um, so yeah, all of these things are things that I use sort of in my in my day to day actually. So yeah, they, they quite use on front. You do go, you, you do get lots of integrations and as you can see, I've, I've got Zoom enabled, Google Drive, Asana. But like loads of these others are just not available, like air call and things that I, like I just wanted to try use. 
aren't available and you get sort of stuck. But overall, I guess there are more uh, to select from. Right, so moving on, next thing, we have uh, a feature within Missive that isn't in front, it's organizations. So you can actually have multiple different organizations within sort of one profile and you can add users and accounts. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the technicalities of, of it, you know, so all fits together um, in one sort of overview, which I really like. I think I would need to sort of get my other organizations all on this. Uh, I've obviously got my personal as an organization and I've got uh, my main team as, a, as, a, as its own organization. I'd like to see how it starts flowing when there's like loads of people involved in this. Um, but it's a nice feature because I can have different signatures for it, different things, like it, it, but it's all in one way. It's on front, I had two different, even like different companies. It was sort of on different logins, which was very irritating. Right, so that's on the organizations, which I really like. Um, now, another massive feature in uh, Missive that you're not going to find in front is it has IMAP support. And like, why doesn't front app have IMAP support? It just blows my mind. So if you guys don't know what this is, most email clients like, uh, say like GoDaddy or, you know, some sort of cloud hosting email provider, you get a domain, you get free email support. Those will let, that's IMAP, like where you, where you, your email is in sync with your own server and you just connect with uh, some details. And basically if you send it on your server, it pops up on Missive. And if you send it on Missive, it pops up in your server. So keep those in sync using IMAP. And it's like, it just, yeah, so that's the technology behind it, but it just makes so much sense to have that. It's it's like something that Outlook's had for like I don't know ten years or whatever. Um, it, it's just fundamental email, uh, and yeah. So front kind of once if you want that synchronization, you have to use uh, either Gmail or Google Workspace, or you have to use this like really messy forwarding system where you get an email in your Gmail inbox or your personal IMAP account, um, something that's not on Google, and then you forward it to a front email and then it does does it like that. But like that kind of locks you in because now all your replies are on front and they're not stored on your server as well. And then when you want to move, you're trapped in. So I don't really like that about front. And I think IMAP was a big, uh, like that was what I was looking for was just IMAP so I could add all my other accounts and not sign up to G Suite for it. So that's the uh, IMAP support. That's awesome. Um, front has a feature called delegation, which I must say I do like, and I kind of thought that would be a cool thing for Missive, but I do think I've got a hack for it anyway. Delegation basically means you can, if you're a CEO or something like that, or you're in a position where you just want to have your whole inbox monitored by us, by someone else, maybe your assistant, something like that, you just quickly add them and they have access to everything. They can reply as they're um, sort of as you, and it's, yeah, it's, it's quite a cool feature, but I know in uh, Missive, I feel like you could just create a rule and assign it to a user, like any email that comes in while I'm away, just assign it to this user and then they will deal with the email. So it's maybe not like, or just move it to a shared inbox, create a shared inbox that's just your emails and just that one other person That's probably what I would do um, if I really wanted to do it. So Maybe not such a, a, a good point on front anymore. Anyway, scheduling. Uh, front's got these really cool schedule links, which you can like connect to your email and sort of does like a Calendly and you can just send it out to your clients and they can select a link. But the downside for this is sure, it's really good for your organization, but it's like, I have a lot of personal appointments that I still needed Calendly for because in the URL it's got the organization name and then it's like if I'm doing personal work or uh, work related to this YouTube channel I'm not going to send out the same link because it's got the organization in it and it's, it was just very specific to organization if it was like a broad thing where there was no, no identification to the organization then I would use it all the time and this would have really been a cool feature Looking at the calendars, both have calendars involved. I like how Missive has the, um, I like how Front has it along the side. So you can always see your daily uh, agenda and then you can always pop it out to get a overlook at your sort of uh, your view. Whereas in Missive, it's sort of, you have to come to the sidebar and click on calendars. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's no one's gonna, uh, 
uh, complain about it and you can add appointments, you can move things around. So it's quite cool and you can have multiple shared calendars. So it's kind of the same. I think they're about a, a par on that. So that's kind of the, the gist of it. I mean, uh, hopefully uh, you can try out Missive for free. Use the link below and you can see what the, the, the concept of the shared inbox. I'm going to rant a little bit about how important it is to have a shared inbox. Just like overall, both these platforms let you comment on things, have a whole discussion in a, um, like under an email, you just tag someone and say, hey, what? Are, how are we going to reply to this? Because like a lot of our emails are quite important and it's like, we need to collaborate on them. It's like, instead of phoning them or CCing or having this weird, like forward the email, we, 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 we join in, we chat, we say this, how we're going to target the reply. We know who's going to do it. You click reply. We can all see it. And it's just like, it's all transparent. If I want to search the team inbox, I just search and it's going to be there. Like it, you know, I'll find whatever this customer's on the line. They say, this is my order number. I'll find that, you know, which is really, really important in today's days to have access to information and have your team have access to information, not just like one person with all these email accounts. So that's my rant <laughs> about shared inboxes. Um, I think the the fact that you can add Instagram, Facebook messages, WhatsApps, all of those things into these kind of things is just like incredible and has so much potential and it's hundred percent worth $18 per month. In my opinion, uh, I think it pays for itself five times over. And the fact that it's immersive is like $6 per user cheaper than front app. I'm saving hundreds of dollars a year on my setup. So that's a big point in missive. My favorite is definitely missive. I wouldn't recommend front anymore. Unfortunately, uh, I just had, uh, just the price just felt like I was getting gouged, um, at the end of every month. And it didn't like, I, it didn't have basic things like rules and features and um stuff like that so it kind of lost me on that point and the imap was a big no-brainer um so this is the way to go if you guys are looking for something uh definitely recommend it and hope you guys enjoy this kind of video it means a lot if you guys like and subscribe and hopefully i'll check you guys in another video